a lower motor, we're going to talk about a really unusual wood, wood block print. So this print is unlike an engraving or an etching because the part that is black is the raised part of the wood block and the paper part is the area that is ex excavated from the printing plate. On some engravings they will incise a line which will hold the ink and you, you have a different type of painting. So there are different sorts of painting, sorry, engraving and etching and printing, different techniques. And this is, is a woodblock print and it's done by Robert, John Robert Gibbings, who was Irish, 1889-1958. Now the thing about this small uh, woodblock print is it's just two colours. It's the colour of the paper and the colour of the black ink monochrome, they would call it. It's, it's very small. The reason it's small is because it was in a book and it was a page of a book. And the book was one of 550 editions printed in 1922. And this page has come out of the 174th book of the 550. So it's not signed, it's not numbered, but it has come out of the book. And there's some information on the back about the artist, some basic information. And by very good fortune, the artist is featured in the Maltese book of painters who painted Malta. And there is a, an entry about this person, John Robert Gibbings, and it has a very similar um, image, picture of Maltese buildings. This one has got clouds, this one has got more than one colour, and it has a stone wall, and it's more a finished article. This is more of a demonstration of, of, of the woodblock printing. And um, the, the this artist knew Eric Gill, who's very well known in England, and other um, prominent personalities. He's exhibited widely. And this being 1922, it was 100 years old, and it makes the Richard England version look very late. It makes the Julian Trevelyan work look quite late. Um, I think in, the, in 1922 that was pretty good. It's the era when Sciorino, Sciotino did the, the horses in, in, in bronze. So it was pretty, pretty groundbreaking. And he was in Malta because he was convalescing. Uh, I suppose he's been in the war. He was wounded in Gallipoli in the First World War and he was convalescing in Malta. So he, he was involved with the Society of Wood Engravers and had a printing business. So he was well set up. He was, he, he was an ex-soldier. He had convalesced in Malta. He got into prints, got into publishing prints, knew all the right people. The print pictured in the book might well have been quite a large print, I don't know. But I've got to tell you that I, I haven't seen any John Robert Gibbings prints around ever at all. There's one in London at the moment for sale in the gallery um, for, fi for 530 euros and you, you would have to get it to Malta and pay the shipping and you'd have to pay 5% import tax and you'd have to pay 5% uh, valuation fee to get it here. So I know what it's worth and we'll sell it for, for the, a slight, slightly less than the price in London if you add in the shipping and the VAT, import VAT and the import valuation fee. So, so it's unusual, it's early. We know who, it, who it's by, we know where it's from, what it was out of, and it's a recorded artist. And it's very, very distinctive. Harry Oldham came later. We have, a, we have a Harry Oldham at the moment, and I have seen some of his black and white buildings. And it's likely, well, it's almost certain that, that Harry Oldham followed the technique of woodblock cutting. I'm not, I'm sure, not necessarily saying he did woodblocks, but it's, it's, a, it's this very um, dynamic sort of image with, with great contrast. So, so it, it, this Gibbings person is it's part of the journey of the, of the art of Malta. I think it's very rare 
Um, and it's available in that shop for sale. Thank you.